Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's weekend whip, I'm gonna be working on a page that I started a little while ago in Botanicum. And it is this page. Um, I think I did this when I was testing out the super colors. So I'm gonna continue with those. I'm gonna to try to do a little bit of a background today. We'll see how that goes. Um, Cause the rest of this should be pretty easy to fill in. I'm going to take a sip of my tea. Okay. So let me get my stuff together. Here's my super colors. They're still beautiful. I love them. I've used them on a couple of pages too lately. And um, I just can't get over how wonderful they are. Um, I think that they probably make a bigger set than this, and I would love to get that, but I know that it's going to be stupid expensive, so probably we'll be holding off on that for a little bit. Okay, so the background, I'm trying to decide if I want to try to do like a blue sky or just do some of this peachy color everywhere. I don't remember exactly how I got these colors on here. <laughs> I think that I used like a yellow, an orange, a pink, and a red, maybe. Um, I'm not great with watercolor backgrounds unless it's just like a gradient. Like if I need to paint something in the background, that doesn't always go very well for me. Um, and I need to find a backer page. So let me grab that really quick. Okay. I got my backer page. Um, I did have two other colors or two other books picked out to color in today. I'll show you those. And if you guys want to see those next time, let me know. Cause I really need to finish them. <laughs> so it would be this one. Um, which I finished this one last month last month, I think. Um, and I'm going to use the same colors over here. So like all of this is going to be gold and then there's pink on her shirt and the flowers. And then of course the green in her hair. So yeah, let me know if you want me to finish that one or I've got the other one that I was going to do is in Ivy and it is this one. That's also been a forever whip. So I decided on neither of those today, but if you'd like to see either one of those next time, so I've got Ivy, one in Ivy and one in Seasons. Um, let me know in the comments and and I will, I will get on that. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do the leaves and stuff. I know the leaves and the peaches because I know how to do that and I don't wanna think too much this morning because I am not quite awake. So I can't remember if I used all three colors on this. I feel like I've only used two colors and maybe a little bit of yellow. That seems right to me. So we're going to go with that. Yeah. Um, can you see all right? Yeah, I might move you in just a little closer. Okay. Not a ton closer, but some. Okay, so, hi. <laughs> Happy weekend. I um, am filming this bright and early on Saturday. I didn't get any sleep, so I apologize if I don't make any sense. I decided yesterday that it would be a great idea for me to drink caffeine um, late in the evening and I am now old enough that that will keep me up <laughs> all night. Um, so, so yeah, I got a little bit of sleep, but it was, it was not very restful. My brain was going like 90 miles an hour and, um, I got a lot to do today. So I'm not super thrilled about that whole situation. We have, um, we are leaving on vacation tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Um, and um, 
you know, I have to get to the store and get everything we need for that. And then I have, we have an open house to go to today for my niece who is graduating from high school. Um, and then I have to, you know, get everybody packed and all of that. And then, you know, um, if you saw last week's, you know that my husband hurt his ankle and he finally went to um, MedCheck to see what was going on. And they did an x-ray and they said, yep, it's broken. And he was like, well, that makes sense. It hurts really bad. You know, I can't, I can't walk on it really great. He can still walk on it. I mean, he finished his race. So he is able to walk on it. It's just not comfortable. Um, but then we went to see a orthopedic doctor. I don't know if it was just like a, it was just like a consult that, that, um, the med check doctor thought that we should probably go to. And, um, That doctor said, well, this looks like a really old break and it's broken too. It's like the, the edges were too smooth or something, the doctor was saying. And I didn't, neither one of my husband, my husband nor myself understood, quite understood that because he's never hurt his ankle before. <laughs> so we were like, because the doctor was saying, yeah, you broke this a long time ago. This has been, this has been broken. This isn't a recent break. And we're like, how on earth are you, that, that doesn't, that doesn't happen. Like, how could he break his ankle and not even know it? So, um, he is now grumpy <laughs> because, um, you know, the doctor didn't give him any news. Like, yeah, it's broken in this place and this place and we can do surgery and fix it and you'll be better in three weeks. And then, you know. Now he's got a diagnosis of, well, it'll be, it'll be all right, you know, somewhere between three and six weeks. And, you know, if it's still bothering you in three months, come back. And he was like, what the hell? <laughs> three months? I got to wait three more months? Um, yeah. And I know that I've mentioned this on here before, but he's a runner. So him not being able to run has been quite the experience. He is super crabby. Um, he's trying not to be, but he just gets, it, it really was like this wonderful release for him when he could go run and it just built up these endorphins and, um, you know, gave him that boost of happiness that you get, that some people get from running. And, um, I don't get it. I wish I did get it or I then then I would I would try to run, but when I run I just feel hot and sweaty and exhausted and sore and <laughs> um sometimes after I meditate, like if I do yoga and there's some meditation in there, I feel better after that, but otherwise when I exercise I'm just miserable. Um <clears throat> but anyway, so he's not been able to do that, and he is he is definitely feeling it. Um, we got him a couple of different braces, and then, like, so I ordered some braces on Amazon um, because I was reading online, you know, some of the things that he might need, if he's got a sprained ankle, what to do, all the stuff. And we got, I ordered a couple online, and then I saw, I happened to see that the Brute Fruitner pencils were also um, at a pretty good price. So I was like, oh, well, I've seen, I've seen Emma use these a whole bunch and I've seen lots of other people really like them. So yeah, I'll go ahead and get them. So I ordered them and then I ordered them at the same time as the braces and they're like, yeah, it'll be here in two days. I was like, yes, that's awesome. New pencils and I'm taking care of my husband. I am on the ball. And then I got an email from them. They're like, oh, well, your order's running late, but it'll still, it'll still be there. You know, just, um, it's just running late. I was like, great. Okay. That's fine. 
I can wait another day. We're not leaving on vacation yet. We can, you know, we've got some time. And then I get, you know, the dreaded, um, well, if it's not here by this time, then you can go ahead and request a refund. And it didn't show up. And I'm 100% sure that it was the pencils that caused the holdup because um, I canceled that order. And then as soon as I canceled it, I ordered those braces again and they were here the next day. So it was 100% the pencil's fault. And so now I do have, while I do have braces for my husband's ankle, I don't have brute thinners. <laughs> so when I get back from vacation, if they're still a good price, then I might go ahead and order them. I just haven't decided yet. I was crabby about the fact that they didn't, they didn't show up when they said they were gonna. So, and then when I reordered my, when I reordered the braces for him, um, one of them had a designation of right or left and he's hurt his right ankle. So, you know, I made sure to click on the right. Well, when I went back to look at my order, I had a hundred percent clicked on left, or maybe I hadn't reselected it because I thought that I had picked it when I ordered it the first time. So he got one for his left foot and his left foot doesn't need one. <laughs> so yeah, um, batting a thousand with Amazon. Um, and then what else? Yeah, so we've got all of that stuff to do. We're going on vacation. His ankle is still really messed up. And he is, we, you know, we were supposed to go. So we're going to Michigan. And we're supposed to have, like, all of these fun outdoor activities planned. You know, we're, our, our house is, like, right on the beach. And, um... There's these awesome, beautiful parks up in Michigan. There's this one called Sleeping Bear Dunes. If you haven't heard about it, look it up online. It's really cool. Um, and we were going to go there. We've never been there before. And it just, I was so excited to go. And he was really excited. And then this happened. And now he knows that he's not going to be able to make it up the dunes at all. Um, and I was trying to, you know, encourage him and be like, well, maybe there's some kind of like overlook thing that you can go to. And then we can let the kids climb all over the dunes and you and I can just hang out at the overlook. He's like, well, those things usually suck. And <laughs> I mean, it's those kind of things that he's crabby about, you know, like he just, he's just bummed that he's not going to be able to, um, do what he wants. And I know in England that means something completely different. So please don't giggle if you're from <laughs> England. Um, yeah, he's very he's very upset about it for sure. Okay, what do we think? I like those leaves. I might as well just do these other leaves while I'm here. Um, let's see. Yeah, let me know in the comments, too, what you think I should do with the background. If you think I should try for some kind of, like, blue sky with the clouds, I think a pretty blue would look really nice against these colors. Or if you think I should do just, like, a like a bokeh kind of effect with peachy colors in there. Peaches, peaches and yellows and... I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking today I'll probably just get this area done and maybe the little bumblebee here and then then you guys can let me know what you want to see on the background. Um let's see what else. Oh, the weather here yesterday was insane. Um it is still <laughs> so we've got we had really severe storms yesterday. Um it like there were just these pop-up thunderstorms starting to you know, pop up <laughs> all over all over on the radar 
and we're watching these things happen and then we're watching this little cell this tiny little you know light green rain cell moving towards our our part of the city and then it hits it hit this this major highway and then it just like blew up like it was just then it went from like this tiny little green thing to this giant like red <laughs> red uh blob on the radar which I'm assuming in most other places in the world the red you know is like warning and danger and all the bad stuff like it's super heavy rain and um it <laughs> it was crazy um I will post some pictures I will put some pictures up on the screen for you guys I'm going to move this over so I can put some pictures over there. Um, the We got hail. Um, and thankfully, we were on the edge of the hail because, I don't know, maybe not even, not even 10 minutes away from us, um, there was teacup-sized hail is what it was, it was described as. And I was like, holy cow. And then I, I have seen um, several pictures from friends of mine that don't live too far, about the same area, about 10, about 10 minutes away. And they had um, a baseball next to a hail stone that they picked up out of their yard. And then there was another one where they had an entire sink full of of these just perfectly round hailstones next to a tennis ball. And they were, it was like, I don't know, 15 of them. And they were all tennis ball sized. And I was like, oh my goodness. Um, yeah. And they're all going to need new roofs, new <laughs> work done on their cars. If their cars were outside. Yeah, it was crazy. And then it kept raining overnight. Like it didn't, it just kept going. Um, couple different storm fronts rolled through. It was just, it was crazy. Um, but the thing, it, then um, after the hailstorm, well, <laughs> and I'll tell you, so it, it was pretty windy and um, raining pretty hard. And I, I have a cherry tomato plant on our back deck and it got knocked over and I was like, no, my plants. And uh, my tomatoes, I need my tomatoes. And so I was like, it was still raining. And it had hailed a little bit, just like little marble sized ones. And that had lightened up, but it was still raining pretty heavy. And I was like, I'm going to go outside and save my plant. Um, I'll probably get soaked, but that's okay. And my husband's like, just wait, just wait like 10 minutes. And I'm sure it'll be done. And it'll be a lot, you know, you won't get so wet and all the other stuff. I was like, okay, it can wait 10 minutes. And then two, two minutes later, those, the hail that I showed you in the picture started falling out of the sky. And I was like, oh my gosh. And my husband's like, I just saved your life. <laughs> so I did post a couple of the pictures on um, my Instagram stories. So if you guys want to head over to Elm Colors and look at my um, Instagram stories, um, you can see that. And then I also posted some pictures of the, um, lightning show that was, that was displayed afterwards. Oh, I need to do the center things. Um, yeah, there was a crazy lightning show. So I went out, I was just standing on my porch and recording the lightning. And then I took a few screenshots of, um, lightning from my from my video recording and I got some really neat neat pictures which I will show you guys too so it was it was interesting um yeah and my it's I think it's supposed to keep raining all day today too and my poor niece is open house is going to get drenched, I think. But they have a nice big house, so <laughs> people can be inside for some of it, I think. That's the scary thing about having a party in Indiana in the summer. It's just, it, you never know what you're going to get. 
Um, what else? More weather related. So we're going we're going to Michigan and going to the beach, but we're going to more of a northern Michigan. <laughs> so the temperature is not going to be <laughs> it's not going to be beach weather really. Like some of some of the days it'll be in the 70s, but a couple of the days it's going to be in the 60s and I'm just like and my kids are like, "But we're not going to be able to get in the water." I said, "You can totally get in the water. You're going to freeze your butts off, but you can totally get in the water." Um, so that's, uh, that's been a fun discussion with them. Okay. I need to get my colors for the peaches. So I'm definitely going to grab this pink and I think, I think that I did, I want to say just this yellow and maybe the scarlet. We're going to try that and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna leave, make sure to leave a highlight so that, yeah, I don't know if I just didn't do, I have no idea what I did. I really don't have any clue. Well, We'll see how this goes, peeps. I'm never saying that again. Sorry, I said peeps. <laughs> it's only appropriate for my 43-year-old self to say peeps when I'm talking about the candy. Um, let's see. Oh, channel news. While I am gone, I will have lots of things for you guys to watch. My programming should not be interrupted. I have everything scheduled, so as long as... It all gets released when I have it scheduled. You should be good. I did record the um, color along winner. Um, and you'll have to wait and see who won. Um, and I, what I did is I did the color along winner and the medium winner. Um, and then I also recorded the runners up. <laughs> Cause I was just, I took a whole, almost a whole day, like, and just got all my videos done. I got two coloring pages done, which was made me happy. Um, and then, and then I, um, yeah, just got it all edited and uploaded, and they're all ready to go. Um, I do also have, finally, have the review of the um, Montmartre metallic watercolors that I got forever ago. So that'll be out. Um, what else? Oh, and then I have a crystal, a How I Color Crystals one that's going to come out. So hopefully you guys like all that. I really liked the voting. Um, I think that that is a good way for me to figure out what to show. I mean, not only for, you know, you guys are telling me, yes, we want to see this, but um, it's also, I don't know, it's less pressure on me, <clears throat> excuse me, I think to like figure out what I need to do. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Ooh, this is really peachy. Okay, I need to color darker with my pink. Pinky pink. It's good to know. All right, let's get this rest of this one done and it'll... I might be able to color the little girl today too. I love these pencils. They're so fun. Especially on good quality paper like this. It's just like, it's like a dream. Works like a charm. Um, so what?
what else is going on? I have been doing a lot of coloring, a lot of recording. Um, I think <laughs> my husband has been a little frustrated with me because I've been neglecting some other things around the house. I'm not neglecting him, you know, I'm still helping him out with everything, but maybe the dishes aren't getting done or... <laughs> Maybe we're having to scramble and get all of our laundry done before we leave for vacation tomorrow, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm super thankful that my brother is going to come take care of my house while we're gone, so I don't have to worry about any of that. Okay. That turned out pretty peachy. Oh, I need to do the leaves. I was putting all my stuff away. Um, I think I'm probably going to have to turn the book a little bit here. So I apologize. Here we go. I just want to make sure that I get my angle right for my leaves here. Let's see, um, I, so my Critical Role show, my D&D podcast and video and streaming, whatever, it, the season finale was the other day for this, this campaign, and I cried like a baby. <laughs> um, I was okay until towards the very end, and then a couple of the players and the the DM just made me lose it. Um, and they're going to take a little bit of a break, so they're not going to be starting another campaign for a little bit. But they do have a new show, which I'm excited about, that's set in the same world. But they've got um, a different person being the game master, which is kind of exciting because then the guy who normally does it can play. And... He never gets to play because he's always the DM. So um, I think that'll be cool to watch. And then they're introducing, they have some of the regular cast members and then some new people. So that will be super interesting. They had their um, campaign wrap up this week. So like they all talk about secrets that they had with their um, characters and the game master will talk about all of the things that they missed out on, you know, ways they didn't go in the game and things he had planned that just didn't happen. And uh, yeah, if you've never played D&D, it's just like, it's just fun. <laughs> I mean, set aside the fact that, you know, you're playing a pretend character or whatever. It's basically just, like, pretend for for grown-ups, you know? I think a lot of, um, there's a lot of actors and stuff that do it, too, because it's, like, improv practice as well as a fun game that they can play. Um, let me turn it again. I really apologize for having to turn this back and forth. I'm going to try to not do that on these next few leaves. I will just maneuver my hand. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really fun. You get to just play pretend for a couple of hours and roll some dice. And yeah, I really like it. I miss playing it. I have been reading um, based on recommendations from Emma, uh, Emma Colors 2020, um, some Nalini Singh books. 
So I've been making my way through those. I think there's like, I don't know, I want to say like 14 different books. Something like that. I think I'm on like, I don't know, eight, maybe. Maybe, maybe six, I can't remember. Um, but those have been interesting. Um, they're all like, um, I like the fact that some of the other tertiary characters are getting their own stories in the series as well. Like it's not just the two main characters. They're talking about what's going on with some of the other characters that you like. And uh, I found that interesting because usually it's just, you know, it follows. You'll get bits and pieces of other characters, side characters and stuff. But typically when you read a series like that, it's just like, you know, one one main character that you follow through the whole thing. And um, I like that there's a few others added in there. I think it's nice to see their stories and stuff. Um, I also am excited because on vacation, I do have a book that just came out. It is, I think this, maybe this is the series that has 14. Um, it's a series by Kim Harrison and the new one just came out, just got released. I had pre-ordered it in May and completely forgotten about it. And, um, yeah, so that's the newest, that's the book I'm going to be reading on vacation Um, I'm planning on taking a little bit of coloring with me. I have a couple body colors that I got to finish up. So I'm going to work on those. And then, yeah, I think it's going to be a good time. Our family members are already planning out which games we're going to play. And who we're going to let win and who we're going to gang up on. <laughs> so that will be fun to observe. I just moved the book again, didn't I? I apologize. Um, my sister-in-law does not like to let my brother-in-law win. So she's already decided that she's going to tell everybody to gang up on him so he doesn't win a game. Which... You know, as long as they don't come to blows over it, <laughs> that's fine. But, yeah, I don't want to hear screaming in the middle of our vacation. Um, and then, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the game Cards Against Humanity. It's a pretty big game. Probably have. Um... My my niece, who just graduated high school, really wants us to bring that game. And we're like, there's no way we can play this game with my mother-in-law around. She will hate it instantly. There is absolutely no way. And so we're trying to figure out how how to, how to bring it so that they can the kids can play it because we've got several teenagers. Um older they're all older teenagers so it's not like I don't know we're not I don't know they're old enough to play it in my eyes um but yeah she will instantly hate it so we're also going to bring some cards and <laughs> some other games to try to sidetrack her so they can go out and play that one for a little while Okay, well, this is going pretty quick. Maybe I should just do this little girl here and be done with it. Um, let's do, I probably should add some dark to the branches as well. I think I'm gonna color this. Um, make a rope color. Hopefully that'll come through there. Maybe add a little bit of yellow. I'm trying to get my brush. There it goes. Yeah, I don't know 
if that looks like rope, but that's okay. Um, I need to do her skin, which I think I'm going to do. Um, I think I'm going to do some of this. Some of this. Yeah, we're going to try these two. See how we do. I'm not real great with these pencils and skin, so we'll see how this goes. I probably should have saved this for just regular colored pencils, but I'm impatient and we're just going to do it. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's see what that color looks like first. Clean that off. Yeah, that's pretty yellow. It's not super yellow, but it's pretty yellow. So I can add some pink in there. And change the tone of that just a little bit. All right, let me get some pink. I'm just gonna take it right off the pencil tip. Some pink in there. That already looks better. Just that little bit of pink. Have been too much. All right, let me get, I'm gonna do it up in the, nope, gosh, that picks up a little bit too much. Okay, let's add in some, we're gonna try this. I'm just gonna add a little bit of purple right under her chin and then along her hairline here see how that goes sorry i'm trying to focus here and not do crazy things with my colors Is too much. Take some of that back. Okay, what do we think? Do I like that? I don't know. It's not terrible. It's not great is what it is. Let me add in a little bit more pink, a little bit of different pinky color to her cheeks. That is dark. All right, I don't hate it. Maybe she'll look a little bit better once we get some hair color in there. So, what color hair did Georgia Peaches have? Red hair, brown hair. I'm thinking, I would say peach hair, but I don't think that would look right with her skin tone that I put in there. Um, let's just do, yeah, let's just do brown hair. And I'm just gonna add it in straight from the pencil. And then I will go back in and shade that hair with colored pencils. But I'm just going to get a flat color down first. That'll be a nice dark brown. I think that'll look nice. Um, and then the flower on her head. I feel like I want to do that with like 
whites only because um, oh no I was gonna make that a wood swing I think um, I want to do that with whites because aren't peach blossoms white or are they peach I don't know I probably need to look that up but I feel like that's probably what that is it's like a little peach blossom really carefully get all this little all these little bits colored in um, and her dress her dress will be the last thing we do and what do we think you know what I don't like her cheeks that color I think we need to be more red let's try one more time with the cheeks that is the wrong brush <laughs> that would have been that would have made me grumpy Okay, let's see how that does. My paper's already nice and sopping wet, so. Um, the other thing I can do is I can always go in and fix that stuff with um, colored pencils. Let's see, okay, her dress should be, it should probably be peach, shouldn't it? Mm. No, I'm gonna make it like a purpley color. Yeah, we're gonna use this purple violet, I think. See what that does. Yeah, that's a pretty color with that. Really light and subtle. to keep some of the darker shadows in there but it's not really wanting to stay hmm okay get hmm. I don't know if that worked Man, I'm going to have to turn my book again. I'm so sorry. Here we go. I just want to get this sign. I don't want to bring too much of that color into the center. Okay. I think that's it. I do need to push this back into the dress if I can. Get out of there. Okay, I think she's cute. Oh, let's do the little bee and then we'll be done. This is gonna be a long one. Um, I've got my lemon yellow. Um, we're gonna do this part of the bee yellow, these parts yellow. And then I'm gonna do his wings with a little bit of, oops, a little bit of blue in there, just a tiny bit. And then I will probably go in with a black um, pencil and add the little, the little black areas. Darn it, I picked up some yellow. <laughs> yellow and blue make green, so now he has kind of a green wing. Okay, I'll just make him black. Let's just do it now. Just add the darker color here and you can spread it out and around. 
That'll work, right? It doesn't have to be super black. It can be kind of kind of gray. Yeah. And then I can add some shading if I want later. All right, so there we go. Um, like I said, I'll probably do this in like a creamy peachy white color and add a little bit more shading probably with some pencils and um, figure out what I want to do for the background. Okay, so in the comments, let me know um, what kind of background I should do. If I should do a bokeh effect or if I should do, what was the other one I said? Um, like a sky, like a painterly sky. Um, and then also uh, for next well, not next weekend, but the next weekend whipped that I film, if I should do Ivy and the Inky Butterfly or what's the other one? Seasons by Hannah Carlton. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for sitting with me and coloring with me. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>